Welcome back, and this is uh, our channel, the Dream Academy Tutor. In this presentation, we shall deal with the first uh, uh, series of three verbal analogy questions using the paired word approach, and this is the easy set. Uh, don't forget also to hit the pause button. To give yourself time to figure out the relationship of the given pair uh, of the first given pair, uh, pair of words. Also remember to jot down your answers in your tickler or notepad um, and later compare your answers with those in the last slide where we have added an explanation about the relationship of the first uh, given pair of words so uh, where we could uh, or we base our answer okay now with those in store let's try to go to the direction and examples each question that follows consists of a related pair of words or phrases followed by four lettered pairs of words or phrases. Select the letter pair that best expresses a relationship similar to that expressed in the original pair. For example, Iliad is to Greece as blank is to blank. Choices are Odyssey is to Turkey, B. Lusitania is to Spain, C. Ilgames is to Syria, D. Mahabharata is to India. Now, the relationship of uh, the first pair of words is that um, Iliad is an ancient epic of Greece. It's actually one of the two. And we're looking for this relationship among the choices, which should be in our answer. Okay, let's try to see. Odyssey, using the relationship of the first pair of words, Iliad is an ancient epic of, epic of Greece. Can we say that Odyssey is an ancient epic of Turkey? No, because Odyssey is the other um, um, epic of ancient Greece. Lusitania is an epic tragedy, and it's not uh, the ancient epic of Spain, because El Cid is the epic of Spain, ancient epic of Spain. Gilgamesh is... Um, is uh, of the Mesopotamian uh, world in the ancient world, ancient civilization, and it's not the ancient epic of Syria. Mahabharata is um, the ancient, one of the ancient epics of India. We have Ramayana also. So in this case, the most, the closest. Um, um, answer to our first pair of words is to, to our first item is D Mahabharata is to India. Number two, a tiger is to car carnivorous as blank is to blank. So the relationship that's it's obvious that the tiger is carnivorous. Okay, so we're looking for um, uh, um, an animal. Um, that is um, either carnivorous, herbivorous, or omnivorous. Okay, so we have to eliminate choices A and B because um, the second part of the second pair of the choice is not one of these three carnivorous, herbivorous, or omnivorous. So we eliminate A and we eliminate B. So we are left with C and D. Now let's try to check. Um, cow is to herbivorous, which means that um, those feeding on grass, like tigers feeding on meat, and D lion is to omnivorous. Omnivorous meaning um, 
the animal feeds on either meat or grass okay or plant now so lion here actually is carnivorous okay so definitely d is eliminated that leaves c for our answer cow feeds on grass cow is too herbivorous so we have the answer there now let's begin okay and i'll leave you with these slides and for every slide hit the pause button and i'll give you about five uh, seconds before i go to the next slide okay i won't disturb your concentration but in the end i'm going to explain the relationship of the first given uh, pair of words and together with the answer okay Okay, and that's about it. So, congratulations, you're able to get done with the 20 items. Now, of course, in the beginning, first viewing, you're going to you know, go slow. It is expected. Next time you go over the items again, it'll be a little bit faster because you may, um, you, you'll, you'll, you'll be, uh, be able to recall the relationship of the first given pair of words now until the third perhaps third or fourth viewing practice you'll be able to go faster and beat your time the first time and the second time okay so here in this slide you'll find this link down in the description box and we're done with the analogy concept series, the related presentations, which is about the single word approach, the, the three sets. And now we're starting our um, paired word approach series. Okay, the, this is the easy presentation and we'll be uploading the average and difficult analogy questions for practice using the paired word approach, okay? And I guess I want to thank you now in this slide before we go to the answers and the explanation of the relationship of the given pair of words. I'd like you to thank you for dropping by our channel once again. And if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and uh, you may leave your comment or question below. And I suggest that you share the the channel or the slides the presentations to help others who are in the same boat as uh, uh, you and of course if uh, if you want to um, avail or see first um, the presentations the next upcoming presentations hit the bell notification button okay so that's it this is the slide where the answers are and i'm gonna explain the relationship of the given words given pair of words okay so we have the first item which is uh, despotic 
is to domineer as blank is to blank. So the relationship between the pair of uh, words is that they are synonyms. Okay, so we're looking for synonyms among the given choices. And our answer is letter C. Timorus is to withdraw, which are also synonyms. Uh, the second is erosion is to water as blank is to blank. Now, erosion is a process of uh, the process of being eroded by water, an agent. It's it's what we're looking for among the choices, and the answer is D. Aging is to time. Aging is the process of getting old or being old, and is the process uh, caused by time. The uh, time here is also an agent. The next is uh, number three. Wars is the destruction. Is the answer to the given smog is to pollutants. Why? Because smog is a kind of air pollution. Okay, and it is uh, it characterizes or it, it causes like uh, pollutants to uh, appear. Okay, and we may say also that smog is characterized by by extreme um, pollutants. So we have wars also is characterized by extreme destruction. Now let's see. Number four, we have irrevocable is to alter as blank is to blank. Our choice is um, immediate is to defer. Why? Because they are antonyms. The given pair are an, a pair of words um, are antonyms, and in our answer, in our answer, we have to look for a, an antonym. Um, uh, we have to look for antonyms in our choices, and that's immediate is to defer. Next is we have number five uh, conjunction. Is the clauses as blank is to blank. Now we have here conjunctions uh, connect clauses. So in our choices, we have to look for something that connect or connects what. And the choice is D. The answer is D. Bridges connect shores. Okay, makes sense. Next is number. Six, okay, six is um, generous is to forgive as blank is to blank. Um, to forgive is to be generous. So we're looking for something to blank is to be blank. And um, among the choices, we have letter A as our answer. And let's read it according to the relationship of the first given uh, pair of words. To yield is to be pliable. Okay. Next is we have antiseptic is to number seven bacteria. Okay, antiseptic has the ability to act against bacteria. And so among the choices we have education has the ability to act against ignorance. Okay. Let's see. Next is sardine is a fish. Sardine is to fish is blank is to blank. So the relationship is that sardine is a fish. We're looking for something uh, that's an example of what blank is a blank. Uh -huh. So uh, the answer is B. Pneumonia is an illness. Like that. Next is uh, we go to fog is to vision as blank is to blank. Uh, fog hampers one's vision. Okay, just like maltrition hampers one's growth. So our answer is letter C. We have here number 10. Um, birth is to decrease disease as blank is to blank. This is the, we have two extreme um, stages in a man's life. So birth from birth to um, 
dying. So birth is to disease. Let's look for another pair that has similar relationship. So we have the answer, uh, letter D, dawn is the beginning of the day and sunset is the end of the day. Dawn is to sunset or like what we uh, coin or call uh, dusk. Now let's go to number 11. Lieutenant is an officer as blank is to blank. So we have there, they are and uh, we have um, blank is an officer. Uh, lieutenant is an officer. Okay, it's a rank. So also sophomore is a level. Okay, in a, uh, in the undergraduate level, or sophomore is an undergraduate, like just like a lieutenant is an officer. So we have different kinds of. Uh, undergraduates we have um, freshman first year second year sophomore third year juniors and fourth year seniors so just like with the officers they have a sergeant master sergeant lieutenant colonel okay so let's go to the next which is number 12 there okay we have number 12 uh, microscope is to biology as blank is to blank. A microscope is an instrument used by a biologist. In the same manner, we have to look for a pair that has the same relationship, and that's letter B. A telescope is an instrument um, used by a, an astronomer. So we go to number 13. Uh, we have kitten. Is a young cat as blank is to blank. So let's look for the young of what. The answer is C. Fawn is a young is a, a young deer. So fawn is to deer. Kitten is to cat as fawn is to deer. Next 14 we have faculty is to teacher as blank is to blank. We have a faculty is a group of teachers. Okay. Um, so let's look for a collect collective noun here and what the co collective noun is about. It is a group of what? So we have the answer, letter A, choir is to singers. So uh, we have a choir is a group of singers. Just like what I mentioned in the previous uh, presentations, um, since uh, to be, to familiarize ourselves with like topics like collective nouns for animals, things, and persons. We'll we have uh, prepared a presentations, a present, uh, we have prepared presentations for this, um, uh, these uh, subjects, okay. Also for animal habitats, the male and female gender, okay, and uh, other things like um, that are relevant, that are of use to uh, increasing your knowledge of uh, solving analogy problems. Let us go to number 15. Here, number 15 is um, apprentice is to experience as blank is to blank. So we may say that apprentice lacks experience or uh, an apprentice needs experience. So with that kind of relationship, let us go to the choices and we have the answer which is coward is to courage, letter D. Uh, coward, a coward needs courage or a coward lacks courage. Number 16, we have neck is to bottle as what? Blank is to blank. Okay, a neck is a part of a bottle as B, rim is a part of a wheel. It's the outer edge, actually. Number 17, we have um, a forest is timber as blank is to blank. A forest is covered chiefly with timber, just like an ocean is covered chiefly with water. Number 18, we have dam is to flow as blank is to blank. So you're right that uh, they are antonyms and, uh, you know, water can flow in dams there they're uh, stored 
just like uh, liberty we can't exercise liberty uh, if we're under communism okay so we have damage to flow us us communism is to liberty now we have 19 um, kilometer is uh, is used to measure distance so let's apply the same and we have uh, minute is used to measure time so the answer is letter c and for number 20 we have needles to stitch as blank is to blank a needle is used to stitch and we're looking for some how uh, same relationship and the answer is letter a water is to wash it's used for washing one of the uses of water okay so that's it for now and once again stay safe and Bye for now.